Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. This is one of my favorite games ever. So pretty please, don't kick me in the head with a giant soccer ball, okay? Why is this game called Rocket League? If somebody has no clue what this game is about, they probably think it's about racing rocket ships or something. And what's with the name Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars? I can see why that game didn't have nearly as many players as Rocket League does. Also, why won't they stop reminding us that Rocket League is the sequel to Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars? We get it already! I like the customization in Rocket League, but couldn't we have some more animated decals to start off with? It takes forever to get a black market without spending real money. Let's face it, the bots are terrible. The rookie bots don't even use boost, the pro bots play slower than the bronze, and the all-star bots can't aerial. What's up with that? Also, why are the cars called battle cars? Why not just call them cars? It's overly complicated. The sad fact that RL bot coders can make a better bot than psionics. The unfair bots aren't unfair at all. It's pretty easy for most players to beat four of them at once. Why don't you get score from offline matches anymore? I get they want to stop level farming, but can't there be a dedicated score system for offline matches? All of the mutators suck. Well, except for the curveball mutator. Once you get good at Rocket League, you won't use them very often. The servers are still pretty bad. I know they've been trying to fix them, but there's still lots of work left to be done. The community is so toxic. A good quarter of the time you miss a save, you're getting a what a save from your teammate. And since PC players can type faster, it's worse on there. The rank system is kind of broken. If you don't get competitive for a while and get better in casual, get prepared for a long and hard grind back to a good rank. RLCS is amazing, but when you watch the pros play, it just makes you think about how bad you are at the game. The addition of Rocket ID was one of the best additions this game ever added, but you can't trade cross-platform sadly. There are way too many pricing guides that are terrible and make trading a real pain. There are way too many copies of this game. Seriously, it's getting out of hand. Psionics deserves a lot more respect than they have. I like how there are season rewards for reaching a certain rank, but could Psionics please stop using wheels as season rewards? Season 6, 3, and 9 all had wheels as season rewards. It's starting to get old. Face it, no matter how hard we try, we will never be better than Squishy Muffins. Rumble is 90% luck. I'm sure if I played a low-ranked Rumble player in a 1v1, they could probably beat me. Why can I only play Rumble free play on Starbase Arc? Why can't I pick whatever map I want? The tournaments mode is kind of broken. You can be put with anyone from Bronze to Grand Champ depending on the tournament settings. So if you're a Bronze 1 and you enter a tournament, you can be placed with a Grand Champ. You have to add someone in order to trade with them? Why can't you just search up their name and invite them to your party? I like how there are seasonal events in Rocket League, but couldn't we have more than 5 a year? Why not do an event every time there is an RLCS LAN? Speaking of which, Rocket League Esports is really underrated. Most people only watch the LAN tournament and not much of League play at all. Oh, I know why! Psyonix offers rewards to whoever watches it! That explains why the streams get around 80,000 people. I still don't understand why it is possible to run this game at 200p. Nobody will use that unless you're playing on an Intel Celeron with no dedicated graphics. Why isn't Curveballs its own custom game mode? The community seems to love it, so why can't we play Curveballs in extra modes? Pros only use the Octane, Batmobile, and Dominus. I never understood why. Nothing to somethings take way too long. I really hate when people get crate luck. I had to grind real hard to get my items, and the fact that someone can match my weeks of work by opening a couple crates triggers me. People left Rocket League because it can be very repetitive. You're just trying to hit a soccer ball into the net, you know, nothing special. On top of that, it's incredibly easy to lag and get salty teammates, which makes you start losing at a rank you truly belong in. This makes you triggered and you end up quitting Rocket League because you can't stop being triggered playing this stupid game. I'm sorry, that went a little far. This is actually a Nathaniel Bandy fan video, so his channel link's down in the description for you guys to check out. I mean, absolutely nothing I said in this video. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Anyways, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.